Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I'm really loving these nails. I've wanted to do these for such a long time since the start of winter really. So this video is sponsored by Temu because that's where I got the stickers that helped me to do this design from. Um, and I got them in my last haul which was the December haul. Um, so if you don't know what Temu is, it's um, an online marketplace where you can buy pretty much anything. Uh, but I buy nail products from them and they are super cheap but really good quality if you know what you're looking for. Um, so these stickers make it look like you've done uh, sweater nails on your nails but you've not, you've actually just used stickers. And then I've got these other ones that show like a wintry scene and they just go amazing over the gel colours that I've used. So the gel colours um, are from Madame Glam, but if you do want some of the stickers, the links will be in my description box. And if you look on the screen and in the description box, you'll see my discount code. Now, if you've not already downloaded the Temu, the Temu app, if you do that using my code, you'll get 30% off your first order. And there's loads of other benefits as well. So yeah, that's there and it will be in the description box as well. So yeah, I'm loving stickers at the moment because I'm just getting back into doing freehand nail art and stuff. And I would have loved to paint to have painted these myself, but it would have took so long. And um, I'm actually using my non-dominant hand for this video. So there was no way that I was going to be able to paint them myself. So yeah, I'm actually using a Born Pretty Peel Off Base Coat. Um, those of you who watch all my videos will know that the last... Uh, video that I did using my non-dominant hand um, I did actually try and use the peel off base coat but unfortunately I wanted to make sure that it worked and I put two coats on and I just did it too thick um, and I didn't smooth out the surface of the nails before I put the peel off base coat on and it just stuck instead of peeling off so I know it works because I tried it on a tip so I'm trying it again this time the gels that I'm using from Madame Glam are the perfect white and I'm putting that on the pinky finger and the middle finger and they're going to get two coats and then I'm using this gorgeous colour called Ice Queen it's like um, a bluish grey and it was just perfect for this set I loved it so this is from the latest collection which is called Confetti Dreams the January collection and if you want to see all the colours in that collection you can see my latest swatch video which I will link in the description box and yeah, that does show you all the colours that are in that collection. But these are a Korean formula and they are um, quite a bit smoother than the normal formula. When I was swatching them, I wasn't really that impressed. But when I used them on this set on my own nails, um, they seemed so easy to paint on. Um, the difference between the Perfect White and this Ice Queen, you know, was was quite different. The Ice Queen was so much easier to paint on than the, than the white one was. So then what I'm doing is after I've cured two coats of that, I am wiping the excess off. I'm using alcohol and a paper towel and I'm just wiping over the nails because I'm going to go in with Madame Glam's top coat and I don't want all of the inhibition layer from the gel in my top coat. And as you can see on the paper, um, you do get quite a bit coming off and that is the uncure, uncured gel that is always on the surface after you've cured them. So yeah, I did wipe that off. So then when I've cured the matte top coat, I'm getting my gel paints out from Madame Glam and I'm choosing the white one. I did try this with the white gel polish, but it just didn't work as well. So I went with the gel paint because it's more pigmented. So I'm getting a sponge and I'm just dabbing on the paint and making sure there's quite a lot on the sponge. And then I'm just patting it onto the nail and I want it to sort of fade up towards the cuticle area. But... Normally you would want this really smooth and not patchy, but because I wanted it to look like snow, I did want it quite patchy. So that's why I'm, I'm dotting it around and I'm not trying to blend it in completely. I do want a bit of, um, you know, a bit of difference there. So when I'm happy with that, um, I'll cure it and then I'll I just go over um, using like a second coat. And then that gives me the effect that I want. So each coat of the gel paint gets cured for 60 seconds because it is more pigmented.
And then when I'm happy with the two coats of the gel paint, I'll go in with the matte top coat again because then I'm going to put the stickers on. Like I said earlier, these stickers are from Temu and they are really cheap, but these ones just look fantastic. They are really good quality. So they are embossed as well, so they do give you that sweater nail um, look and you don't need to, you know, spend ages painting them yourself, but they do look like they've been painted when you stuck them on. So I just cut off the excess with some cuticle nippers and then at the end off camera I did give them a little file on the bottom just to make sure there were no bits sticking out. So I do that on the middle finger and then I do exactly the same but with some different stickers from the same set on the pinky finger. And they were a bit fiddly to put on because I wanted to get them exactly straight and that's a bit difficult especially when you're using your left hand. <laughs> So yeah, it took me a few goes, but I got there in the end. So I put all the pieces on and then with each piece, I just use my tweezers, which are also from Temu and they've got this silicone bit on the top and that really helps me sort of rub down that sticker onto the surface. You can use a matte, um, sorry, a base coat before you put your stickers on and cure that. But I do tend to find that the stickers do move around quite a lot if I do that and I didn't want them moving anywhere. I wanted them to stay where they were. And I wasn't sure at this point whether I was going to put a matte top coat on or not. So then after I've done the sweater nails on the white nails, I'm going in with these other stickers and these are like your little snow scene stickers and I absolutely love these from the minute that I saw them on Temu back in November I wanted to do this set so I've been planning on doing it for ages and I was thinking that I wouldn't have time and I couldn't find the exact right colours that I wanted to go with them but then when I got this Ice Queen in Madame Glam's collection I just knew this was the right colour so I was really happy about that because it is a little snow scene but it does have a little moon and stars at the top as well so you know that it's night time so when I've put those stickers on and I'm happy with them and I've pressed them down I'm then going over the sweater nails with the matte top coat and I was going to go over the snow scene nails as well but then I thought about something else and I didn't do that So when I've cured the matte top coat for 60 seconds, I go back to the snow scene nails and I'm using my Madame Glam detailer brush, um, sorry, liner brush, and I'm using the gel paint just to paint over the bottom of those nails so that it looks like there's snow at the bottom and it's sort of gradually fading towards the middle of the nail. And I just thought that made them look so much better. And it also made them look like they'd been painted on and they weren't a sticker. So I thought that just made them look amazing and I, I love these nails so much but I wish that I'd painted them myself but I just knew I couldn't do it so I'm setting myself a goal now. So by this time next year I want to have been able to paint something like this myself. I don't think I'll get there using my non-dominant hand in a year but I might get there using my right hand so we'll just have to see. Let's check back this time next year and see if I can do it. But yeah I am going to do a lot more freehand because I just love the way it looks and it's just such a skill to have. So after I'm happy and I've cured the gel paint for another 60 seconds, I'm then going over with the matte top coat. And I was so tempted to have these nails shiny, these two, um, because if you know me, you know that I don't really like matte very much. I'm always going for, for the glossy, but I thought, no, the sweater nails have to be matte, so I'm gonna do these ones matte as well. And I'm glad that I did, because I think they just look better. So they are embossed stickers and they're quite, um, they do stick up quite a bit from the nail. So it does make the nails look like they're not really square anymore. You know, they do flare out a little bit, but I wasn't too bothered about that.
so then all I have to do is do the thumbnail so I picked this really cute I love snow sticker and that one's gone on the thumb and you can see that I've done the same um, white gel paint fade that I did on the two nails with the snow scene on And then this is how they look when they're all done. So I absolutely love these. I think they are amazing. And I don't think you can really tell that they're stickers. I mean, you can if you look really, really close up. These are my favourite nails of this year, of winter, definitely. Even better than the glitter ones. So yeah, I hope that you like these nails as much as I do. I hope that you um, like this video. If you do, please give me a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not subscribe and hit the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload another video. And I will see you in the next video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.